I'm Richard Elishadi or Tuzeme, students and lecturers of uh, Ofa Polytechnic in Kwara State took to the streets to protest over hike in food prices. According to the lecturer and student, they say Osa. To the show, they say nearly all the students don't get Osa because of uh, prices of food when you go up, say no money to buy food stores and some self not get transport to the con class. And some of the lecturers say, even the students, some of them, their brain don't lock. They just say, as on that day, not when the teacher, when they enter the brain again, say, everywhere now, they're tight for the school because they need to when the teacher. As hunger continues to bite other across the country, especially within the low income earners, some students and lecturers of Polytechnic in Ofakwara State over the weekend took to the streets in their numbers in a peaceful rally, pleading with the federal and state governments to fulfill their campaign promises of urgent succor to Nigerians. According to the students and lecturers, addressing hunger and insecurity of lives and properties across the nation is a must for the political class as they make good their political campaign promises. Addressing journalists during the rally across the major roads in Ofa Metropolis, the lecturers noted that students no longer find it easy to assimilate when they are taught in class being on empty stomach as a result of hunger and hike in the cost of transportation and other prices of commodities, which they say have skyrocketed. There is hunger in the land. The prices of goods and services keep increasing day by day. Everyone is affected. Both we, the students, the lecturers, market women, everybody keep complaining. So, so we want to urge our government, we want to urge those in power. We believe in your administration. We know you are working. In various areas, you are working. But please hasten it. This hunger wants to kill some people. The suffering in the line is, land is too much. Currently, the most threatening issues that everybody can really perceive is hunger in the land. There is high rate of poverty. In fact, you know, uh, when you don't you are not well felt you know it's difficult for you to really assimilate you know and uh, the transportation cost is very high a lot of them even find it very difficult to get to the school because of cost of transportation some of them will have to trike about five miles before you come to school you know you are already tired so there is nothing a lecturer is uh, trying to teach you that will get to your score the students also pleaded with the federal and state governments to urgently save them from hunger and kidnappers insisting they deserve a better life. We have cases of several kidnappings in the country and we also have inflation. The price of everything in the market now is very cost and people can't even buy what they have with their own hard-earned money. And uh, we, this is just to remind the government that we, want, we deserve a better tomorrow, a better change for everybody, for our children, for our lives. Even because we just, as a student, we are also facing the issue of hardship because we can't even ask money from our parents at home. Oh God, our food now is, is already expensive. So now, like Galina, we are, we are buying it. Uh, maybe 15 naira per cup before or 30 naira. Now it's now 150 or 200. So please, we do not want this again. The submission of both students and lecturers here is that a better Nigeria is achievable with the political willpower and sincere commitment from the political class. Olufemi Akobi, AIT News of Kwara State. <laughs>